Ah, uh, good morning. It's 20 to 6 on Saturday morning. Welcome back to my Vlogmas. I woke up at 1 o'clock in the morning and I can't get back to sleep. About 3 o'clock, the dog barked because he heard something outside and my ear has been ringing ever since. So I think he may have like burst my eardrum or something because all I can hear is like a, a tinnitus kind of whistle on this side which is slightly worrying. So I'm hoping it will come back but literally I can't hear myself properly at the moment so thanks for that Alfie. I have no idea what you're barking at but I now can't hear. Um, I've had two bookings overnight for psychic readings so thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful. One's a voucher and the other one uh, is online which we're going to book for next week which I'm really pleased about. I'm just super grateful how well it's going. Um, I was so nervous yesterday about doing my readings and because I'd had a break and I didn't know what was going to happen because it's hard. You know, sometimes you think when you're t just saying these random things, it always means something to the person that you're reading for, your sitter. And there's some really odd things that I said yesterday in readings, but they completely knew what I was talking about. I had no idea. I'm like, I have no idea why cheese, cheese is relevant here. And they go, oh yeah, cheese, because. So it's just been exciting. Uh, nerve-wracking I'm nervous all over again um, like when I first started to perform I was nervous and it kind of feels like that which is probably a good thing nerves are always great it means that you really care about what you're doing and you want to do the best you possibly can I so can't hear anything <laughs> it's just whistling oh my god so I'll organize that one of them is a gift voucher because they're buying it for a friend uh, and the other one's going to book, get booked in. And this was overnight. People are awake at strange times. Uh, I need food now. I've had a cup of tea, uh, but I need food. And I have a feeling I'm going to need a nap some point this afternoon. Because I can't get back to sleep. I think it's this ringing in my ear. I just can't settle. Uh, and he's up already, as you can hear. He's flicking through Instagram reels, I think. I'm a TikToker. I like to flick through TikTok, but he likes the reels. Anyway, let's get some food. So I'm just nipping out. I've got a couple of parcels that never got picked up by every. I think there's a change coming there. I think I might have to use somebody else. Um, they've not been picked up, so I'm gonna go and drop them off at the local shop where they collect them from. And then I know that they've gone. Right, I'm back. Um, dropped off the parcels, uh, did another little trip, came back here. Um, yeah, uh, town was busy, um, I'm gonna prepare a new cover song I think, because I haven't got a lot going on this afternoon and I'm trying to take it easy, uh, and there's a new song, that, a new sister song that I heard the other day which I really like, and I've got a few ideas, so I'm gonna have a look at that. You know when you try doing something numerous times and then you ask for help numerous times? and in the end you just don't get it you don't you it doesn't work the technical thing just doesn't work well that's happened to me today it's kind of frustrated me it's peed me off so whatever i've given up now you know something doesn't work that it should do you re like message people and say please help me sort this out uh, I'm doing everything that you're telling me to do. We're on the third time now and it's still not working and I give up, I give up. So that's where I am, I, whatever. So I've just added another date to next year. Unique Gift Fairs got in touch. They do craft fairs at the Heritage Centre in Barnsley, which I've been to many times. Uh, it's a lovely uh, place. Uh, and I'm involved in one of the events now, which is awesome. 7th of May, I'll be there, Barnsley, with my pop-up shop. So I will add it to the website now. Okay, so it's time for making some tea. Uh, I'm not feeling so great today. I just, not like unhealthy, just feel... <sighs> and I've got the same jumper on as I had on yesterday. I look such a scruff. 
But anyway, I'm at home, so, you know. So I'm making fish. I have part baked petit pain, petit pain. basically a uh, small bread. Uh, I'm gonna do some of those with butter in, nom. Uh, the fish is simply cod from a little uh, date 23rd of December, so we're all right. There's two pieces in here, and I'm gonna cook them with a uh, flat tray with foil, a little bit of butter, salt and pepper in, uh, and it cooks in the oven. I'm gonna do rice with it. I've got some tomato puree and tomato sauces and things. I'm gonna use it with the fish. So I think that's it for me today. I've just been watching my favourite film, which is Father of the Bride. Uh, I'm from a real traditional upbringing, you know. You get married, have kids, all that, make happy families. Didn't quite work out like that for me, but it's still my favourite film. I love it, I love Martin Short, I love Steve Martin in it, and I just think it's just so lovely. Ah, uh, the relationship she has with her dad is just wonderful. Um, and it's just a really nice film, you know. Uh, Father of Bride 2 is probably my second favourite film. Um, but yeah, I wasn't going to watch it to start off with. You know when it comes on? I don't know why I said that. You know when. But when it came on, I was like, this is just going to remind me of sitting and watching it with Ellie and it's going to make me cry. But... I stuck with it and I watched it and it still felt nice. It, I can't stop thinking about though that that's never going to happen for her. She's never going to get married. And you know all of that stuff and that just makes me really sad. So today's been an emotional one. Uh, but I'm tired now. I'm I'm ready to go and get some kip. I'm wearing my robe over my clothes again because it's cold. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to sign off. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.